What's good, everyone? It's Joseph Green Dentistry back with another high in demand video. I'm sorry I've been gone for quite some time. During the semester, like dental school was really heating up, but I'm trying to get better with it. I'm trying to make more videos. And this one right here is for you guys. There's a lot of people asking for this video. So hopefully this can make you guys forgive me for not posting as much. And hopefully this satisfies y'all's needs because this is it right here. How I study for my DAT. I'm gonna give y'all the full rundown of my DAT experience. So starting with my timeline, to what material I use, to how I use the material, and lastly, what I wish I did differently when studying for my DAT. Now, if you watched my previous MyStat video, you know that I made a 19 on my DAT. So if you're trying to make a 28 or any crazy score like that, just keep in mind, this video might not be for you, but you could probably pick something out of this video that will benefit from you, especially when I talk about what I wish I did differently when studying for my DAT. Also, for all viewers, keep in mind that when I was studying for my DAT, I was also retaking two classes and taking two additional classes to try and boost my GPA and catch up so I could finish everything on time. So if I got into dental school, I would start at the right time. So now we're gonna talk about my timeline while studying for the DAT. When I first started, I started maybe a month after when COVID first hit. I had planned on studying for my DAT in the summer, but because COVID hit, I think it was like March, 2020, by the time April came, I realized I have all this free time. I'm still taking classes, but I have free time. So I might as well start studying for my DAT. So I stuck to the bootcamp schedule for around two weeks, maybe not even two weeks. Then I kind of figured this might not be for me right now because not only was I studying for my DAT, I was also finishing my classes and I was also preparing for my committee interview. So in a nutshell, the committee interview is pretty much a panel of science professors and they interview you give you a rank and they send it off to the dental schools that you apply to. And keep in mind, not all schools have it. In the future, I might make a video giving more information about it. But anyways, though, back to the main story. So as I was doing all these things, like preparing for the committee, studying for my classes, trying to finish those off, and then also trying to do the DAT, I just realized I couldn't do all of it. So I stopped studying for the DAT a little bit, but I continued doing the PAT section during that month of April. Then May came up, I killed the committee interview. I think I got the five, which is like the highest ranking. Then I realized SPEP was about to start. SPEP is a program um, through Texas A&M University. And pretty much you get to go to the school and you get to study for your DAT, take dental classes, do some dental projects in the lab. And this is all while you're a pre-dental student. The bad thing for me was this was during the COVID years. So I didn't get to go in person. I had to do everything online. But doing that program, they gave us a lot of DAT study material. And we also got to study for the DAT in the program. So as I got closer to the beginning of SPEP, I decided to get back on my DAT studying. And I only focused on math for like a weekend. I finished, I believe it was like the DAT boot camp. Um, math section. I did like all the videos. I did some of the problems, but I mostly just watched the videos and I made flashcards of the equations. So then SPEP started in the middle of May, but also my summer classes started. SPEP helped a lot while studying for my DAT, but there's an incident that happened in the summer with George Floyd. And as an African-American male, that really impacted me and impacted my attention when studying. So of course I continued with the SPEP program and I did, I did pretty well in it, but I was really distracted during that time. So I didn't really have my full attention focusing on the DAT. Not only that, but the pandemic was still going on. So every 10 minutes, there was something new with COVID going on. And back then everyone was trying to find out what's the newest update with COVID. When are we gonna get out of quarantine, et cetera, et cetera. So there's just so much things going on during that time. My full attention just was not on the test. It was pretty bad at one point. By the end of SPEP with everything that was going on, I kind of got burned out a little bit and I felt my drive dying down as time went on. But after about a week after SPEP, I realized this isn't the time to let my flare die down. It's time to get back on my grind. So by the end of June, I made a new plan. And when July started, my two other classes had began and it was, I think it was like physics and genetics. So while I was doing that, I started my new plan for the DAT. I focused solely on biology and gen chem during that month because I knew those two would probably be my weaker subjects compared to organic chemistry, which was always my strongest subject. By the end of July, I finished those classes. And then August started, I continued studying just biology and gen chem. I started throwing in more of the math problems just because everyone says for math, you just wanna keep doing practice problems. 
So I just started throwing in practice problems. Then on the first or second weekend of August, I took that weekend to solely focus on Okim. And that was really all I needed. I just needed two days because I was a Okim tutor at my school. I always did the best in that class. So I knew I just didn't have to study that much on that subject. So I just focused two days on it solely and then I was good. Then around August 13th, I planned to take just two days off of studying just for my birthday. That two days turned into a week and I lost a lot of valuable time that I could have been using to study for my DAT. But of course, after that week, I realized what I was doing was not the best thing to do. So I continued studying. I continued studying biology for sure. Biology was the main thing I was focusing on at this point. Then for the last week, I focused a lot more on the math problems just to make sure that I had some concepts down. By the end of the month on August 31st, I felt like I was ready or I felt decent. And then I went ahead and took the test and then the rest is history. So now that I talked about the timeline, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what I used while studying for my DAT. So I have a list of things that I used written down. Most of the stuff came from SPEP. Again, if you're a pre-dental student and you wanna do a summer program to help study for a DAT, SPEP at Texas A&M was a great program. They supply you with a lot of good study material. So the things I used were DAT Bootcamp, that was my main thing, Course Saver, I used that for the bio problems and some math problems. I used Kaplan. I really only used it for the bio section. And even then I only read about half of the bio section, but the Kaplan bio section was just a little bit simpler. So I liked reading that and then reading Cliff AP bio notes or the DAT bootcamp bio section, just to kind of help me a little bit before going on to a more deeper understanding of the material. And Cliff AP bio notes. That was just a really good book to read, especially for the bio section. If you're if you're lacking a little bit in your bio knowledge, they have little practice questions you could use. And I ended up using almost the whole book. I read maybe half of it, but I did all the problems. Next, I'm gonna talk about how I study for my DAT. And I've been talking about that a little bit throughout the video, but this is gonna be the main thing that I did for how I actually study for my DAT. I tell everyone this, Bootcamp is really all you really need to study for your DAT. If you want to use the supplemental stuff that I'm about to talk about that I used, you can. But if you really crack down on Bootcamp and you know Bootcamp inside and out, you'll do well on your DAT. SPEP was another thing I used for my DAT. SPEP supplied us with all the study material. They had classes for us specifically for each subject of the DAT. And although I felt like DAT Bootcamp was still enough, SPEP was really good with just supplemental stuff and really cracking down on topics that you that you just couldn't get down. You were able to ask a student that was teaching it. So you were able to ask them if you had a question right then and there, which was really helpful. I used the Kaplan book. Honestly, I don't really recommend the Kaplan book, but if you're reading the bio section and you're struggling with kind of understanding some of the things or like making it stick, the Kaplan book has a really good bio section. It's simpler. It's really good if, if you felt like you just needed an extra push in the bio section. So if you do happen to have a Kaplan book, I personally wouldn't use it, but the bio section is pretty good. So now I'm gonna run through a quick list of what I use for each individual subject. So for the bio section, I use Bootcamp, um, the Kaplan book, Cliff AP bio notes, and uh, Course Saver questions. And the Course Saver questions, they were actually really good. I felt like a lot of the questions were very similar to how the DAT asked questions. Next is Gen Kim. Um, I used Boot Camp. I also used a girl's flashcards from a Facebook group that I was in. And I'm gonna put the link to those flashcards in the description. They were really good. It had pretty much all the Gen Kim equations already there for you in flashcard form. It just saved some time. I didn't have to make my own. I really appreciate her that she um, put her flashcards in the Facebook group for everyone to use. So shout out to her. For organic, I use bootcamp. And honestly, I again, I really knew the subject well, so I barely studied it. But on top of bootcamp, I also looked back at my old notes. My old notes were really good for me because everything was there and in my own words. So I was able to just pick up on things really quickly that I kind of forgot and brushed up on everything. So yeah, okay, I really didn't use that much material for it. Just, just bootcamp really. For the PAT, I used bootcamp and booster. Um, booster was good, but I feel like if you have boot camp, it's enough for the PAT section. If you're really, really struggling with PAT, maybe the booster, the PAT booster will be good for you. But me personally, um, I just feel like DAT boot camp was good enough. For the reading section, 
Honestly, I studied the most with SPEP. Our teacher for the reading session, which was a D2 at the time, she was really good. She always gave us passages to read and she gave us really hard tests. I felt like that really prepared me for the reading section. But other than SPEP, I really didn't do much for the reading section. If you feel confident in your reading ability, you should be fine. I did all the practice tests on boot camp, so I, I'll recommend you do that too. And lastly, the math section. Um, I did boot camp, I did course saver questions, and that was really it. I made my own flashcards for the equations, but I'm not gonna lie, I really did not spend too much time with the math section. And by the time I got to the math section, I was kind of like, you know, kind of already burnt out. I, I just didn't really focus that much on it. So now that I talked about my timeline, what I used, how I studied, I'm gonna talk about what I wish I did differently. So first, I wish I took my DAT earlier. I took my DAT August 31st. If you're applying that cycle, that's kind of late, honestly. I was hoping to get it done by early July, but it didn't happen. And I was kind of lucky because at the time, all the DAT tests were pushed back because of COVID. So schools were a little bit more lenient as to when you completed your application. So when I finally took my DAT around August 31st, schools were already lenient due to all sorts of different COVID issues. So I kind of got off the hook and I got lucky. But people watching you, you probably won't be as lucky. So just try to take your DAT around, I would say June, July, early August, but late August might be pushing it a little bit. Additionally, you should also have your application submitted by June or July. I'm just giving y'all free game here. That's really where a lot of schools say that most of their students get accepted if they submit their application in that June and July period. So just try and have your application complete and sent in by June or July, latest early August. Next, I wish that I only used bootcamp. Yes, I used a bunch of other supplemental material, but that was because SPEP gave it to me, so I wanted to use it. But honestly, had they not gave us all the study material, I probably would have only used bootcamp. And I feel like focusing on one thing and knowing it inside and out is a little bit different than focusing on a lot of different things in a lot of different ways. It kind of gets unorganized. So if you can, try to stick to one thing and know it like the back of your hand. Next, follow a schedule. I did not follow a schedule at all. I was just doing my own thing. And yes, I got lucky. I got a, a decent score and I got into dental school. But everyone watching this, I'm sure you're watching this because you want to make the best score possible. If you want to make the best score possible, you have to stick to a schedule. And it's going to be hard because your schedule may have you studying hours and hours every day. But if you stick to it and stay consistent, it'll make you a better person, it'll make you a better student. And last but not least, you'll do good on your DAT. So stick to a schedule. Next, you want to study at any time possible. For example, if you know you're going to walk your dog, why don't pull out your DAT bootcamp app and study the PAT section and do practice problems on your phone? Or if you have some other app or whatever you're using to study, why don't you just do practice problems while you're doing that? And it might get annoying doing that, but you know, just throwing in little extra things here and there when you have free time where you could kind of combine studying for the DAT, that goes a long way. And I wish I did more of that. So if you can, I really recommend you do that. And finally, consistency. Studying for your DAT is all about consistency. If I could go back and just be consistent, study a schedule, focus on one thing, do all these things right, I feel like I would have scored better. And of course, I'm still grateful for my score, but I'm only making this video and telling you guys this because I want you guys to make the best score possible. And these are all things that I just learned while studying for my DAT, and I realized I just wish I did. So consistency is just the main thing. If you stay consistent, if you stick to your schedule, you stick to your plan, you should be okay. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Again, I appreciate everyone that watches my videos. I notice the views have been going up lately. I really appreciate it. I know I don't drop as often as I should, but I'm trying my best to pump out videos as often as I can. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I want you guys to comment what video you want me to make next. Remember guys, if you have a question about something, just shoot me a DM. I have my Instagram in the description. I'm usually pretty good with replying to your guys' DMs. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.